Welcome to the Auraria Event Center for a matchup in the Holiday Inn Denver Cherry Creek Classic between the Lady Roadrunners of MSU Denver and the number 11th ranked Lady Chaps paying to Tago and Emily Hardigan goes up with the ball. She drains the first basket of the game. She gets the rebound and it's good for Georgia Ordoff. After you know, get the balls out of her way. Sabo with the shot and manages to sink it in for the first basket of the Lady Chaps. Jalen Smith finds Wellington. Wellington with the basket and it's good for the freshman from California. Payne from the three point line. She's going to sink it in. Great job by the senior. Again, she's going to look to take it to the hole. She's going up for that shot. She misses and what a great rebound to sink it in. They are trying to move the ball around, finding those options as Janae Esquire's horn sinks it from downtown. Yeah, you know, you know, she, she missed a one. Steal early. by Esquire's horn. She's gonna take it all the way. Waits for Emily Hardigan and Hardigan is open and lays it down. Scores 24-11 with five minutes and 34 seconds left. Smith finds Ordoff and she gets it in before the half. Great job by Smith and great job by Ordoff to go up right there for that shot. And the Roadrunners finish the first half in a great fashion, 32 to 15. Yeah. Dribbles, gonna pass it to Tago. Tago's gonna take it all the way to the lane and great job by Luisa Tago. Yeah, definitely. It's, I bet it's a good thing for Coach Hoffman. Georgia to have Ordoff that. right there with the great basket right there. Uh, Open target and Haste is gonna drain it from downtown. A quick response to that, and you know, kind of realize how much she is. Great pass right there by Sabo, finding Gaddis to the hole, and gonna find Janae Esquire's horn. Janae from the three pointer, and it's good. And Wellington's gonna take it all the way to the hole. Great job with the finish, but great job to break it. Smith's gonna take it all the way, finds Mr. Tago. Tago wide open and lays it off right there. Oh my, I feel great. I feel really great for our players and staff. I mean, they've been working so hard. And to have some of their, their, their hard work pay off against, like you said, against a really great program. So that's the defending national champion. So yeah, they didn't lose a game last year. <laughs> didn't lose a game. So, well, we just want to build on this. We, you know, there's still some mistakes that we made at the beginning of the second half, lose a little concentration, let them back in the game. But, you know, a team like that is going to make a run. So we've just got to be able to weather the storm. But now it's the, the consistency factor is can we come back? This is an emotional win. We can be able to come back tomorrow night and do the same thing against another really solid program, Texas A&M Commerce. Um, I'm still kind of in a little bit of shock, like just kind of coming down from just the high kind of thing. It was really important that we came out and we got a win today, especially on our home floor. That's our big thing this year, like defend the home floor. And I think we did a really good job of that tonight. So in the third quarter, they were they had like a, a little run right there, and they almost caught up to you guys. What did coach tell you to like settle down and keep the game under control? Just like take our time and keep talking to each other because we kind of lost our focus a little bit. I mean, it's a long game, so it's just mentally fatiguing for everyone out there. And I think we kept our composure for once. Like last year, we probably would have lost our minds and would have thrown away the win. But tonight, we kept calm and just played good D.